Hey Big God family, it's Pastor Katie. It's Saturday and I have a book for you called Don't Worry Douglas. Have you guys been worrying about anything? Maybe you can think about some of those worries as we read our book. Douglas and his dad were playing. What have you got behind your back? asked Douglas. Nothing, said dad. Not that hand, the other one. Dad smiled. Close your eyes. Look at me, Douglas cried. Snazzy hat, Douglas, bawed the sheep. I can even do cartwheels in it, he whooped. And he did again and again and again until something didn't feel right. Douglas gasped. His new woolly hat had turned into a long string of spaghetti. What a mess. That's not supposed to happen, he said. Don't worry, Douglas, said the sheep. We'll fix it. And they wound the ball and squished it back into shape. Is that better? No, said Douglas. Cow's a good thinker, said the sheep. She'll know what to do. Cow thought she had a very good idea. Pretty, she said. No, said Douglas. Don't worry, Douglas, chirped the swoopy bird. I can use this for my nest. No, you can't, yelped Douglas. That's my new woolly hat. It doesn't look like a woolly hat, said the swoopy bird. Anyway, it doesn't fit, and she dropped it. Just then, it began to rain, and everyone hurried for cover. Everyone except Douglas. What is my dad going to say, he worried. Rabbit popped up. Oh, thanks, Douglas. Just what I need to plug my new hat, my new hole in my burrow. That's my woolly hat, cried Douglas. Dad gave it to me. Sorry, said Rabbit. I didn't know. Come here, she said, and she wiped his nose. What am I going to do? Rabbit looked thoughtful. Why don't you just tell him what happened? He's nice, your dad. He'll understand. Maybe Rabbit was right. So Douglas picked up his wet spaghetti hat and turned to go back home. Oh, Douglas, said his mom, look at you. Where's your new hat, said dad. And Douglas told him everything. Don't worry, Douglas, said dad. I've got something for you. Guess, guess which hand. Douglas, Douglas was not sure. Here's my hat, said dad. You will grow into it soon. Here's a whole bunch of different types of hats. Do you see one that you really like? I like the banana hat. So when you are feeling overwhelmed with worry, I want you to remember that you can always come to the grown-ups in your life. And if you need to talk to me about it, I'd be happy to too. Have your adult send me a message and I'll give you a call. But I also want to remember that today is our friend Harper's birthday. So happy birthday, Harper. We hope it's one filled with blessings. And I hope you all rest well. Good night.